Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Let's come outside to the brightness, not the brightness of the weather. We no. Have weather due, a lot of it. Yes. <laughs> Look how bright this wall is. This paint has come up beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Look how grubby my dog looks next to it. Yeah. And he's only been away from, he was groomed two weeks ago. What a state of him. Oh, he's a filthy boy. <laughs> You're a filthy boy, Loki. You dirty boy. <laughs> Grub monkey. You smell funny. You smell of girly perfume. So, Loki has just come back from the groomers. Yes, he has. And his white bits are white again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'd forgotten. Don't leave him alone because he smells funny. So what I've decided to do to finish this is do it with the marble crazy paving, so to speak. Like this. Uh, we've got plenty. We should have more than enough, hopefully. And uh, we'll do that. But we won't be doing that yet. So we did get the expected rain yesterday. It chucked it down and we had lightning, storms and everything. It was beautiful. And lots and lots of rain. So everything's nice and fresh and according to the internet today is a foggy overcast day all day can't you tell so i've come out here to check how well the lime wash held up to the rain look at that absolutely thrilled to bits it's taken it wasn't affected by the rain there was no wash off even though it was freshly put on um yeah that side just looks perfect Hey, seeing as this whitewash has gone so well, we're going to tackle this wall. We do need to get some scaffolding at some point to be able to do the really high up bit. But I think with a ladder we can go, I don't know if it comes out on camera, there is kind of a break point, there's a little ridge that runs from that point up there down towards the roof on your left. Yeah, and that's the water supply for in the corral. It is, the yes. The kitchen. Yeah. So we'll use that as a break point using a ladder. Do this, it'll be nice to get this corral area basically done this patio area done mm. and in, in the future we'll get hold of scaffolding have to do the top bit because we can't do that right now no unfortunately oh. we don't know how we can do up there so potentially we might actually leave that and have it as a two-tone which is a bit of a cop out but the, the people who did the monocapping for us up there they had a special scaffolding and they had a machine and there was up there in a bucket and I've got two fake. <laughs> got dodgy teeth. So uh, that'll be interesting too. I've got to drive the car tomorrow to the dentist. Fortunately, it's only a five minute drive away. No, 10 minutes really, isn't it? Yeah, it's too far to walk, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. So. <sighs> yes. Oh, well. I've been putting it off uh, a week now. I shouldn't have done really. And now we no longer have, we haven't got a, a safe car. It's now come to a head that you can't live with it and you've got to go and see somebody. Yes. Never mind. That's Fingers it. crossed for the car tomorrow. Yes, the car will be fine, I'm sure. And the dentist isn't that expensive, especially compared to the UK. Oh, for sure. <laughs> exactly. And it was only a WhatsApp message this morning from Lillian to the dentist, and he said, yep. Coming tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Yep. Nice. Definitely. Ow. <laughs> right, I'm armed again with whitewash. And I'm just going to show. We showed it in the caves, and I'm going to show it again here. This looks brilliantly white, but it hasn't got enough. It needs more, and you'll see just here. There you go. The original monocap. It's going in, but they're still not perfectly white there. And more so down there, as you can see. And that's had as much as up there. Yeah. So, again, you need to put it on in thin, thinner layers. So, I've started that a little bit now, I better do it. <laughs> Just rescued this from the dogs. You ready? Because it's probably going to hop away out of my hand quickly. It's hopping like mad. It's a baby praying mantis. 
how cool is that? That oh, is it's having a rest on your hand in the sun. That is gorgeous. Yes. They are such interesting creatures. Yes. It's watching the camera. <laughs> that is ace. Okay, little guy. I'm gonna have to put you somewhere so you're safe. Looks like it's lost a leg already. Yeah, it has. Oh no, maybe no, it hasn't. Not. No. No. Awesome. On that green, do you think? Yes. Yeah. Go on, off you go. Go on. I'd rather sit on my hand that's warm. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Gone just there. Yeah. Just in there. Okay, little guy, don't come back over here again because you know what happened last time. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. I just tried to go up there high enough so I could reach. And it became very squeaky bum time and he started shaking. The whole ladder was shaking even though I was holding it at the bottom. So I'm going to give it a go. See if I can get high enough to be able to reach the top. Yeah. It's a lot higher up there than it looks. It is. Can you... Um... Yes, of course. Stop me from shaking at the bottom. Yes. Ooh. You see the whole world from here. I'm not going to be able to do it, it's just too high. I'll give it a damn good go, Ruby, and what I can't do from here. You can't do from there? I can do from the roof down. I can lie on that roof and paint downwards. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll go up there first. Okay. Lean over. Oh dear. As far down as I can. Yeah. And then we know how high we have to go up. Okay. Even he can't believe it. He just can't believe it. I wouldn't lay there, mate. You might get spots. You might turn into a Dalmatian. Okay, so Lillian's all the way up there. Hello. <laughs> He's not doing my stomach any good watching you up there either. I'm not going to tell you about my stomach, it's a good job I haven't eaten yet today. <laughs> okay. Let's just leave it at that. Yes, thank you for rescuing me. <laughs> I can do a little bit of height on steps, but I just can't, I just can't do that. No, that's fine. It's horrible having to lean over. Yeah. <laughs> what we need, you know, is a painting ninja. A painting ninja. Yeah. There's probably some product called a painting ninja, and now the the the, the, the algorithm is going to think you're you're talking about that. Maybe so. Dover's in and out, in and out. He can't quite work out how to get to me. No. <laughs> yeah. What what you need is a ninja. You can just scale walls, like you see on the films. Oh yeah, a Marvel movie. Yeah. Or Spider Man, a painting Spider Man. Okay. Yes. You can stick to walls and stuff like that, and then just. Wouldn't matter, would it? That would make sense. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, alright. Don't you do anything silly, crazy. Don't you worry. Well, this has not been the most pleasant thing I've ever done in my life. Nope. Hanging over the edge of a, of a parapet, but that is as far as I can reach going down. Yeah, yeah. The amount of painting this has taken, as in getting rid of runs and all the rest of it and Chris directing me from down there we're not going to be able to do this with a ladder my moon's up the ladder this time <laughs> she just went I'll do it we're not messing about I want to get this done so she's doing that now uh, I've got a little jug up here with <laughs> with whitewash in it yay so I'm uh, being Mr Ladder safe if you the not bottom. step away or my brain will definitely break. I will not be stepping away. And the difference between putting it on this monocap and doing it in the caves is you've got to do it really, really, really wet. Not like with the caves where you can have it a little bit drier and it, you rub it in. This stuff, you need it wet. It's got to soak in as well as rubbing it in. I discovered that when I was doing this. The problem is, we've done that much in the case, we default to lime washing on the lime. And it, it just sort of like, doesn't work in your head. I'm tempted to, if I was painting this, to do that, 
yeah. and be done because that's what we did in the caves and it you can't. It doesn't work. I'm doing this yeah. gory, wet stuff. Yes, that's the only way it works. That's when I did this bit. I did a patch, a test patch first and did it like I did in the caves and it, it just didn't work. Right, well I've come down off the ladder, done all that bit at the top. You can see where it's drying really well here. It looks like this piece over here is probably going to need another coat. But we'll wait and see how it goes. And uh, we can now share it at this level. Because we can both reach. Yes. And it is transformative. Absolutely transformative. It looks so different. Look how white it is up there next to the... I know. It's mad. Beige. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, so that's had two coats. Yes. That's what's been done this is today had its third coat yeah and obviously this is its first coat so let's see how it goes but yeah unfortunately that's going to need more like three coats like that one there yeah the overspill of pink from when we were playing with the dye and what have you is disappearing well, let's hope it disappears, disappears. Or we might just have pink patches. Eventually it'll go. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Can't believe how that's drying. Cannot believe it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I can actually show you the reason why we're using lime wash. One, because it's a lot less expensive. And two, because the plastic paint that everybody seems to use, <coughs> at least on this finish, doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, we'll show you that in this video where it's all peeling off. Yes. It's terrible. But this stuff, hopefully, but well, it won't peel. It won't peel. No. The worst that will happen is it'll weather. It'll weather, yeah. 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 So, if you've got monocap and it hasn't been painted, and you want it white, obviously, lime wash. Absolutely. Very, very inexpensive. And it works. Yes. And it doesn't leave brush strokes. No. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, we're winning. Just having five minutes. We're definitely getting there. Yes getting there yes i've got the doors out ready for doing the uh the fire on the rope thing oh right <laughs> <Set>. <laughs> and this... we're going to this instead yes so i'll do them another, another time. time yeah maybe tomorrow i have to come back from the dentist because my mouth's gonna be really really sore look at that that is looking really really good you can see where where we've got to it's a bit patchy but that's all right Wow, what an improvement. You don't realise what you're living with, do you, when it, it gradually gets worse over time? Yeah. And then you put it right again, it's like, wow. I yeah. know. Well, I wasn't... Going, we, pardon me. Oh, that water went down the rail. Um, we wasn't going to do it over there, but now... We are. Yeah. And if we make a mess doing whatever we're going to do... We'll fix it, we'll fix it later. Yeah. Because that just sort of like screams lazy people. Get it done. <laughs> Barry does. Yes. Let's not be those lazy people. No way. So, right. We'll finish this quick drink and get back on. He loves doing this. Standing here, just looking out the window. God, he's, he's like the ultimate nosy neighbour. Yes, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> okay, so. So what we're doing here is taking the opportunity to show you. Uh, Chris talked about plastic paint. Now the inside, if I can get a dog out the way. Don't What's here? Ow! Here. The inside of these window uh, frames. Are they frames at this point? I don't know. You can see here, plastic paint. Absolutely ridiculous. 
So what we're going to have to do is scrape this off and then I will spider Lillian and go outside back onto this roof and do this wall here and then hang over the edge and do a second coat on that wall that we did the other day. But look, you can see how this comes off yeah. and it is plasticky, it's, it's strange. But it's just not staying on the wall. No, you can see, you can see the brush strokes in it, so to speak. Yes. Yeah. You see what was brushed on? And yeah. it's just peeling off. I just can't cope with the sun, I guess, or it's sort of like the natural dampness of the wall and everything from the weather, because it never rains in Spain, obviously, as we all know. Yeah. Um, it's just not taken. Right, so what I'm doing is now the line washing here I've done up there. Let's see how well it covers up this pink, red, pink stuff. The splatter. And how many coats it'll take. Should be interesting. I think it'll take a few. Probably. You look like you've got white chicken pox. That's because I have. And I have scraped this down with a wire brush. I'm going to give it a coat now. Not covering it, baby. It's not covering it. Well, no, it won't do. This first coat, it'll take uh, um, probably three or four hundred. <laughs> okay, this is had a first coat. I'm not too worried about the finish because in the future we will be doing some work on this. It will get a second coat and look nicer. And then we continued all the way up here. And then we got up there, and Chris went. He just looked, actually, he didn't even go. He didn't say anything. He just looked at me and I looked at him and he knew blinking well what he was thinking. We're going to do the front facade here of the house because it's just screaming it needs doing. <laughs> it's five o'clock, but we're going to keep going. Well, that's that done. Lillian's just going over some patches. I've just had a mozzie attack me. Go away. Uh, yeah. She's using the, a big brush, which is rubbish for lime washing, or at least it was in the caves, because her brush is no more. I know. I'm going to have to get another one. And I said, that's fine, use mine. And she went, yes, but what will you use? I went, ah. Rumbled. He nearly got out of it. Nearly got out of it. Yeah. So, as you know, patchy. We'll come back to it tomorrow and show, it, show you what it's like when it's dry. So, so we're sat having a well-earned beer. We and are indeed. removing your case. Yes. And, wow. Either that's gone mental. Look at how good that is. Wow. If you come over here and take the angle of that, you can see... The monocap on the right hand side that we haven't touched, the monocap on the left that we have, and it's just, how are we living with this grubbiness? So this is monocap that Chris did a year ago, más o menos, yes. whilst I was working. And that monocap down there, the boys are playing, ignore the silly noises. This is what we've just painted. The last what we just whitewashed. What? Away. And that's that little bit that Lillian was starting to tell you about. Yes. There's a comparison, but you can't see because the door's in the way. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> that was a hint, a subtle hint. Not very subtle. You don't do subtle, <laughs> darling. No, I know. <laughs> there you go. Just wow. I know. Okay. So the reason why we stopped there going to that corner is because up there needs doing so Lillian will do up there and then I'll get on the ladders and I'll I can reach up there a bit yep and we can get this lot done and then we'll stop here because we really need to get there done so the wounded soldier is back yes hello white lights <laughs> I know that's really really good so I went to the dentist, um, he thinks I've got an infection 
under the teeth. So maybe it begins with an abscess or something like that. Um, and he believes that the reason is because years ago, and I don't even remember how many years ago, I had a tooth removed and it hasn't got a friend to lean on, so to speak. And he says the way, way your teeth move around when there's the meant to have a tooth next to them, you know, can be done like people have with braces and that lot to realign the tooth. And thinks it may have got a bit of an infection in it because it's moved. I don't know. I didn't quite understand. But anyway, I've got antibiotics. So no beer o'clocks for me for a number of days. I've got to contact him again in, I think, about a week and then let him know if the pain's gone away. And if it has, it's all good. If it hasn't, then he's going to have to have another look. But he took x-rays and said there's no, no holes there, no um, badness going on, and he couldn't see anything near the root. So I don't know. So antibiotics. Boo. <laughs> But not only was I able to ring yesterday to get him an appointment today, which is just like awesome, he went in and he had a one hour consultation including x-rays and it cost 30 euros. That was all. Yes, cheap me. <laughs> Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.